Hi guys, Random here. Back with a bit more Plague Inc. Evolved. Um, I've unlocked viruses. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with a virus, shall we? Um, Alright, Cytochrome Surge. Marvellous. What's one of them? Uh, Cytochrome Surge. Get more DNA from popping orange DNA bubbles. Or we can have bonus DNA at the beginning. Do you know what? Let's go for that one. Uh, we haven't got anything there. We've got Terracite, which is land. And we haven't got anything else there. Right, okay. I'll play it on normal. Uh, normal means if you have it on casual, nobody washes their hands. Research doctors don't work. And six people are given hugs. Ah. Oh. If you have it on normal, 67.3% uh, of people, so two thirds basically, um, wash their hands. Doctors work three day weeks and sick people are ignored. Let's do that. What should we call this? Um, hmm. What about... Yeah, we'll call it the trots. <laughs> okay, you're a new virus. Mm. Uh, select starting location. I'm going to go centrally. We go in America because there's plenty of people. Now the thing with viruses is they have a uh, yeah. See, randomly mutates. Okay, so we don't really want it to mutate too much. Not until we've got a good foothold on the world. Okay, virus DNA detected. Really? Already? Have you detected me? Seriously? Yep. Okay, so we need to try and make this uh transmission need nine points for that nine points for that okay so we only need another few points and we can start working here we go right we'll evolve it we successfully evolved the drops okay we'll make it a bit more airborne uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to work on drug resistance because we started in the USA the USA is a rich country and therefore the medicals are quite high there uh, yeah. so we have to uh, assist symptoms no we don't want that yet let's get rid of that okay. Cost me dear. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, we've only got seven people in the world infected at this point, so let's not have any symptoms just yet. Okay. 19, there we go. Right. Abilities, drug resistance. There we go. Let's get drug resistance in, and that should help it spread. Hopefully. We've got the world to take over here, and we've only got 12 people. We need more. Yep, great. It's spreading. 14. We need more people, so. Uh, 3D printed robotic juicer. <laughs> yes. Okay, now I'm quite looking forward to getting a bit further into this game because um, there are some wicked, wicked viruses and diseases. Yeah, I've got cysts again. Let's get rid of it. Devolve it. Uh, devolve it, yes. There we go. Yeah, some wicked diseases. Um, you know, nanovirus and all sorts of things. Prions. Uh, a prion is like a, a sort of in the brain virus. 
<laughs> so yeah, quite looking forward to these. Uh, come on, start getting infected, you lot. What are we up to now? 90, let's go, 101, here we go, right, now it should hopefully start a snowball a bit, now the number's getting higher, we should start seeing more and more people, uh, okay, yeah, I don't know about that, right, let's see if we can make it more transmittable, shall we, let's make it all fawn as well, uh, do, 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 do. We could do insect, we could do uh, increase its mutation chance, really don't want that at the moment. So let's just go for uh, air and water. There we go. Over 200 now. Yep, there we go. Just waiting, we're playing a waiting game at the moment until it starts to spread. Rash symptom, no thank you. So let's get rid of that. It is strange because uh, you're spending your DNA points stopping it from doing stuff, which is peculiar. It's the other way round to the bacterial one that uh, I did originally. Go. Disrespectful funeral goer forgot to press X. What? <laughs> okay. Here we go, come on. We're getting there, we're getting there. Nearly 2,000, 2,000 now. Okay, so we're starting and we're now in a different country, excellent, okay, we're starting to get around, this is what we want, soon, here we go, look, follow the boat, and we're now in Brazil, yes, starting to get around, now you see, the thing with the USA is they've got plenty of airports, plenty of ports, they've got land borders, uh, obviously with Canada and Mexico, and you get a lot of uh, people going from the US to the Caribbean. Um, so yeah, there we go, insomnia symptom. Let's have a look, insomnia. Makes people irritable and less productive. Do you know what, that's fine, but uh, let's get rid of it. Yeah, we don't want it yet, not yet. Yeah, these viruses seem to uh, have lots of mutation chance. Okay, not in Russia yet. Yeah, 20,000 in the world now. Which is a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of people. There we go. We need to, uh, if we're going to speed up Canada, we're going to have to evolve cold resistance. Um, so, let's do that be resistant to cold. Now I suppose one tactic I'm going to have to think about um, with this particular disease is having some DNA points in reserve to devolve stuff that we don't want. So yeah I'm going to need oh, look, infected boat. Where are you going? Uh, we're now in Egypt. <laughs> Plane. Awesome, so we're now in Saudi. We're in the UK yet, no. So we're doing alright. We're over a quarter of a million now in the States. So that's really gonna start snowballing. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna keep ten. Uh, oh, we're in Australia. Which is good because Australia travels around here. Coughing symptom mutated. I'm going to try and keep 10 in reserve. Um, do you know what? Let's we'll just leave it with a cough at the moment. Cough's not too serious, 
but it does help spread it. So here we go. Over a million people in the world now with the trucks. <laughs> so yeah, you imagine being on a plane with somebody who's got this disease, this virus, and they're coughing. Yeah, and we're into Mexico. It'd affect the entire plane, wouldn't it? Go into Peru, and where was the other one? Uh, Bolivia. There we go. Popping up all over the world now. Coughing is a good thing. The more infectious than TB now, we've got seven and a half million people. Still only a tiny percentage of the world though. So we're in France, we're in the UK. Not in Iceland or Greenland yet. Oh, no. Spoke too soon. We're in Iceland. Uh, not in Scandinavian countries just yet. There we go. Into Indonesia. Popping up everywhere now. Once you get sneezing, yeah, that's fine. Sneezing is... It's an obvious thing, but it does help spread it. And this is what we want. We want to spread it around. Share the love. <laughs> okay, right, let's make you cold resistant, shall we? Uh, there we go. Right, a bit more resistant to cold, more infectious than HIV. Should start going up now in Canada. Uh, I'm going to need to do something to make it better in heat as well. Because of these uh, countries down here. Do, 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 do. Let's make you heat resistant. There we go. That'll help. Quite expensive. 14 points for uh, a level 1. But yeah, that's fine. There we go. Now into the Middle East should help it spread around this region. That sort of an equatorial area. There we go. Yes, nice. Let's make you a little more heat resistant, shall we? 26. Good grief. Yeah, I know. So we've got the cold, we've got the hot popping up everywhere. There we go, another bubble. All these little red planes and red boats carrying infected people. So at the moment, all you're getting is a cough and a sneeze. Doesn't sound too serious, does it? Dry winds in our country is sweeping through. There we, are. there we go, we're up into Norway, Sweden, Finland, not yet. We're in Russia, it won't be long then before we get Finland. We get a fever a symptom. Uh, not yet, don't want fever just yet. What's this? Environmental hardening. Ooh, what does that do? Highly weather resistant and extremely comfortable in both hot and cold. Viral instability. Uh, not yet, but that'll be a really nice one to get. And genetic hardening. Mm, not yet. Uh, right. So what have we got? We've got fever. Sneezing, coughing. Let's get rid of fever. There we go. Don't want it just yet. Bit of a sneeze, bit of a cough. Isn't too serious. Crack. Now we've got them working on the cure. Okay. So who's working on it? Brazil. Uh, there we are, Brazil. Right. Brazil is entirely infected. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. This gives me an interesting option. I could make it deadly, in which case Brazil would pretty much be done. Um, and that wouldn't help them with the cure. Let's make oh, far as a little more. How much is this? 35 is a lot, but you know, I think it's going to be worth it. There we go. We'll start being a bit more prolific now around the world. Here we go. More infectious than the common cold, but at the moment, that's probably what people think they've got. A bit of cough. Still not into Greenland yet. Come on, Greenland. And let's have a look here. Yeah, the only country we're not in is Greenland. And we are almost halfway there, infection wise. Hopefully we'll get a boat going into Greenland soon. We've got anemia. Do we want anemia? Not really. Increase uh, rate of hypoxia on the organs. Let's devolve that. Don't want that yet. Wait until Greenland is infected and then we can go to town. Make it mega aggressive. Okay, Finland, Sweden, Norway, come on. You can do it. Kazakhstan, Algeria, Morocco. Doing okay, the entire population of the USA is now infected. Just under half of Canada. Yep. South America is done. Uh, Africa, pretty much. Oh, we've got a rash. Uh, we're into Greenland. Marvellous. Here we go, look. Greenland. Soon to be Redland. <laughs> yep. Okay, so how's the world doing? We're pretty much there, aren't we? We've only got a few healthy people uh, in the world. Okay, researching 2%. We've got three years and 343 days. Nothing, no ports or borders closed. Everywhere's infected. Okay, now we can start having a bit of fun. To get Greenland well and truly under the thumb. Uh, got insomnia, that's fine, you can have insomnia. Here we go, Greenland starting to uh, become Redland, which is nice. Central Europe, eh, you're a bit behind everywhere else. France, yeah. Trots is placed on a watch list. Okay. Uh, let's go for paranoia now. There we go. We can have a bit of paranoia. Uh, and maybe some immune suppression. Uh, yeah. Go for uh, fever as well. Ammonia. Uh, we can have lesions. Uh, and should we have necrosis? Yeah, we'll have necrosis. Pulmonary fibrosis, pulmonary edema, and what's this? Hemorrhagic shock. There we go. Lovely. Okay, now Saudi Arabia. No, that's fine. First death in Russia. There we go. Little blue planes are the research scientists. Uh, yeah. Killing internal hemorrhaging symptom. Ah, oh, marvellous. Yeah, we can have that. You can mutate that. We've killed more than the Black Death now. We're wiping out the world very, very quickly. And we'll just get some uh, DNA points from the dead. Which is always good. There we go. Just keep popping these bubbles. Keep this slowed down. 
Italy shut down its land borders. Ha! <laughs> you know what, Italy? Too late. We got the anemia symptom just mutated. Ha! Huh. Italy was quite uh, uninfected, in fact. But do you know what? It's fine. Got a cure, 25%. Yeah. No problem. There we go. Global research focused on the cure. Yeah, well, that's fine. Uh, basically, if you get it in Italy, you're dead. Um, Finland in anarchy, eh? Oh. Well, I suppose it would be. There's only 300,000 people left there. How's Russia doing? No, oh, we've almost wiped out Russia. There's no healthy people left in the world. Everyone's infected. And they're all dying. Well, I think that was a win for us, wasn't it? Uh, let's, let's make you a bit more drug resistant and we'll have a genetic reshuffle. In fact, let's do two of them, shall we? knock back to research not that it makes any difference uh, there's not that many people left to work on it now let's see how long is it going to take them five years 329 days and we've killed 98 percent of the world i think this virus thing was pretty nasty cysts <laughs> yeah come on let's make their last days really miserable shall we uh, yeah, let's make it really unstable, see if we can get some more mutations. How are we doing? How are we doing? We're doing quite well. Okay. So, just a quick thing. We've wiped out so far the Caribbean, France, Poland, Norway, Finland, Russia. Turkey, West Africa, Libya, Central Africa, South Africa, Botswana, Sudan, Iran, Kazakhstan, Central Asia, Pakistan, India, and New Zealand. Hmm. Not doing bad. Well, not doing good. Is well, insomnia and anemia are causing people to walk around grey with tiredness. Scientists working on the cure for the drops are less productive. Good. There we go. So, the trots. Obviously quite dangerous. Trots to destroy humanity. Yes. Indeed. Here we go. We're down. 25,000, 15,000, 7,000, 4,000, 3,000, 1,000. Less than a thousand people left in the world. We've got 216 people left, and they're all in Australia. Good day, sport. There we go. The trots has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Very nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Not bad at all. What do you think, guys? The trots. Make sure you wash your hands, eh? <laughs> thanks very much for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed it but for now it's random signing off take care guys see you again soon